Man, what is going on, guys? I'm back with another episode of a TV movie podcast. And today I got for you Survivor 46, episode 10. Last episode, we saw Hunter get blindsided with his idol in his pocket. He thought the vote was going to be Q, but everybody lied to him, made him feel comfortable, and they got him out with the idol. And now we know that there's only one person in the game with an idol that everybody knows about. And that person is Tiffany. And Tiffany didn't get any votes last episode. So, man, we see in the start of this episode, Q. Q is public enemy number one. Q is off by himself. Everybody's just saying how Q is next to go. Just, just like how they said that last episode. But we see one person kind of checks up on Q. That person is Maria. Maria is kind of like, yo, Q, what are you going to do moving forward now that you're public enemy number one? And Q's like, you know, I just got to gotta win. Just got to keep on winning. And that seems to be Q's plan. Um, we see that Liz was very upset that she was left out of the Q split vote last episode. She was the only person left out of that split vote. And she's just kind of like really upset about it. Like it seems like every at start of the episode we see Liz is kind of upset about the way things try about the way tribal council ended up being. So yeah, I just find I just notice how I just noticed that a lot. Like Liz is just she's not doesn't seem to be in a bad position, but she just doesn't feel happy every. Like literally every any in any situation, she always finds the worst thing to happen. Like, yo, uh, uh, I didn't get credit for this move. This, I didn't. I didn't. I didn't get. I didn't. You know. This, you know. I was left out of this move. Like, she's, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know. I feel like she's in a great spot. She just needs to see the brighter things. You know. But yeah. So Maria is talking about how like everybody wants to get out. Q, but there's one person that she sees as as a bigger threat and that person is tiffany so it seems like maria is still gun ho on trying to get out tiffany because tiffany has this idol that everybody knows about and you know how idols are once you have them you got to use them because people are going to try to get you out because you have that idol we've seen it one hunter but maybe tiffany's different but maria is the only person that's talking about it so you know I don't know if like this is the right move for Maria. How is she going to get those votes? But we we'll see that she's talking to Kenzie. And Kenzie is Tiffany's number one. Kenzie's like, yo, I'm down to get out Tiffany because me and Tiffany kind of have like the similar game. And, you know, she wants to get out that person that has a similar game as her because, you know, she could... Tiffany could take credit for some of the moves that Kenzie's made. But I'm thinking like, yo, Ke Kenzie, Tiffany's your number one. You're going to get out your number one this early in the game when there's many other players that still have their number one. And why would they take you to the end when they still have their number one? So I'm thinking that Kenzie should still work with Tiffany until like final four or five. And then or then maybe get rid of her at the end. Like when there's still like seven people left, eight people left. Like I feel like it's too early, bro. But yeah so we head to the reward challenge and this reward challenge isn't like any other reward challenge it's not like they're gonna get a big bag of rice this time they're gonna get apple bees yeah apple bees one of the best restaurants in the world no i'm joking but it's still pretty good like you know it gets the job done it's not trash it's not bad it has some good burgers like the bourbon burger that liz talks about Liz is a Applebee's connoisseur. She goes to Applebee's every Wednesday with her daughter to get the bourbon burger. And after that, they go and watch Survivor. So she's really just super lit right now because she's so excited to win this reward challenge and go on Applebee's and eat the bourbon burger because she hasn't eaten a at all this season because she has like this diet where she's allergic to the majority of foods except for bourbon burgers man liz love the bourbon burger let's go liz bourbon burger let's go yeah but we see that q ends up winning the reward challenge but q 
can pick three people to join him. And so Liz is expecting to, to get picked because she made it known that, you know, Applebee's is her favorite restaurant. She loves the bourbon burger. The bourbon burger. She eats it every Wednesday with the daughter. Yeah, I'm a billionaire. I'm super rich. Let's go. Yeah, bourbon burger. But Q, first he picks, you know, got to pick the homie, Tiffany, right? Then he picks the homie, Maria, right? So one more person. He's going to, you think he's going to pick the homie, Liz, right? But Liz said she wanted to vote me out multiple times. She was pissed off about the split vote because she didn't know that Q was not going to get voted out. She, she thought it was going to be Q, but it was Hunter. But she made it known that she hates Q and she wants Q out and not Hunter. So Q ends up picking Kenzie. <laughs> and then Liz is like, oh! <laughs> like, I kid you not. Like, you think I'm exaggerating? Go watch it for yourself. Liz goes bananas. And I wasn't expecting Liz to go bananas, but she went absolutely batshit cray cray, bro. Like, nah, dude. I wasn't expecting this blow up from Liz. You know, I knew Liz gets upset a lot. We've seen it, you know, in the beginning of this episode and every episode prior. <laughs> but this is a new level, bro. This is a new level. Like, she reached, you know... She reached her ultimate level, dude, and it was crazy. And yo, you know, Q handled it pretty well. I don't know if I could. I'd been like, yo, shut the. F <laughs> I would have been like, yo, relax, bro. It's just food. I get it. You're hungry like the rest of us, but you, you signed up for this show. I would have told her the truth. You signed up for the show. I'm not your dietitian. I'm not the. You know what I'm saying? Like, like I'm not. I'm not responsible for your diet needs. I didn't know you can only eat bourbon burgers. But, yeah, so we head back to camp. And I'm expecting everybody to be like, yo, L Liz in the chat, bro. Like, what's up with Liz? Why is she like that? But they're all talking shit about Q. Like, man, Q is so cold. I couldn't have done that. How could he have picked Kenzie over Liz, who's been starving and begging and has the, the bourbon burgers every Wednesday with her daughter, dude? And we literally get a whole, like, montage of... Liz talking about how she was poor and how Applebee saved her life. No, I'm joking. But we do get, you know, a talk, some some Liz, you know, backstory. And, and it starts off because of the whole Applebee situation. Like, isn't that crazy? But, yeah, so Q doubled down in the confessionals. Like, he's like, yo, like, I owe you nothing type stuff. Like, you know, and I totally agree. And... At the reward, Q's like, you know, I'm down to work with everybody here. You know, my former Yanu tribe with Sega, you know what I'm saying? And they're like, yeah, of course. But then when Q walks away, Kenzie and Tiffany um, basically say, yeah, Q has to go. Maria hears this and she's like, yo, Tiffany and Kenzie, who, who, who wanted, you know, who used to work with Q and got picked for this reward challenge, don't even want to work with Q anymore. Like, there might not be any saving Q this time around. But they head back to camp, and we head to the immunity challenge. And before the immunity challenge, Jeff brings up a proposition. This proposition is the same as before, where four people sit down and get to eat, uh, get, to, get to have this bag of rice. And yeah, so everybody's like nah i don't want to do it but liz is the only one that steps down and so jeff gives her like this jar of rice to have and so i think that was just a nice gesture of jeff to at least have liz who's been struggling throughout this whole season to get a bag of to get a jar of rice for herself so you know it pays it pays to have a temper tantrum you know because you get free food you know what i'm saying but nah i, I mean i don't completely you know, I'm just not, I'm, I I understand Liz's situation. I do feel bad, but at the same time, it's like, yo, like, you know, you shouldn't have just yelled at Q for that. Like, that it's not Q's fault, but, hey, I, yeah, I'm over it. I'm over it. So, anyway, we get to the, uh, the competition and Charlie versus Tiffany at the end. And we see that Charlie pulls out the W, bro. Back to back like Drake, Charlie wins it. And Charlie 
sticks out his tongue like Jordan. And you know, if Charlie sticks out his tongue, that means he's feeling confident and he's going to win the competition. And when he did that, Tiffany looked and gave a wink and Tiffany fell right after that. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, man, Charlie is turning out to be a competition threat. And yeah, so after that, we head back to camp and um, Maria wants to take the temperature with Kenzie again on the Tiffany blind side. And Kenzie kind of has some cold feet. She's like, I don't really want to do this. I don't think it's the right time. I think Q has to go first. I feel like Kenzie's realizing that she doesn't have too many allies right now. And that Kenzie and, and, and that Tiffany is Kenzie's only real true ally. So why would she want to get rid of her? So Maria's like, damn, we lost Kenzie's vote. We need at least five votes. So she wants to go talk to Ben. Ben, who doesn't seem to be Q's number one fan either, says, yo, she, he's down to get out Tiffany. So they got another vote. They got Charlie's vote, Maria's vote. Now they have, they Ben had Q's vote because Q has no other choice but to vote their way. So they just need one more vote. And Tiffany's blindsided, bro. And they got to get either Venus's vote or Liz's vote. Both tough, tough, tough votes to get because, you know, Venus is, you know, we don't ever know what Venus is thinking. And Liz hates Q. So pff, they decided to get Liz's vote. <laughs> damn, 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 damn. How are you going to do that? But we see that they talk to Liz and Liz hears them out. They had the tribal council not knowing what Liz is going to do. Is she going to vote with her emotions is she, or she's going to take out the idol and flush it out? And throughout the whole tribal council, everybody's just saying how we, there was no talks about any other votes. It was going to be Q. And obviously, there were talks about it, but they don't want to blow up their plan to blindside Tiffany. And the people that are left out of the vote to vote out Tiffany are saying the same thing like how, yeah, we all agree it's Q. But really, that's just a smoke and mirrors because Tiffany's getting blindsided. And I just thought like, yo, Tiffany. This happened to Hunter last episode. Everybody said, yo, it's going to be Q, but then he gets blindsided. So, Tiffany, you should realize that this could happen again. And it did. And Tiffany got blindsided. Tiffany should have used her idol. And she didn't because everybody did a good job of making it seem like Q was voted out. And I feel like we're gonna. this is going to just keep on happening again because somebody like Q... Who's such a you know a prolific player in this game and who everybody wants out can use as smoke and mirrors to try to you know make people think that he's gonna be out, but really there's a backdoor plan, a blindside plan to get out a bigger threat, and this is gonna happen again. And it might happen to the person that did it who orchestrated the blindside, because I feel like Kenzie, Kenzie's gonna get pissed off. At whoever orchestrated this plan and she's going to use, you know, Q as a, you know, as a distraction to try to get out the person who orchestrated this plan, who was Maria. But maybe Maria is going to be like, yo, we need to get out another threat. Let's get out. Charlie? Kenzie? I don't know. But all I know is that Q is, he's good now. Like, if Q didn't get voted out now, he might as well just make it all the way to the end because how... Has he survived? It's because he is a great distraction for the real plan heading into the end of the game where people want to take each other out and not just do, you know, a vote to get out the easy person. They can use Q and be plus because Q is somebody that you want to take to the end because he gets zero votes from the jury. But who knows? Maybe maybe we get a bitter jury this time. I don't know, but this was a crazy-ass episode. I can't wait to see you in the next one. It's been a TV and movie podcast. I'm going to see you in the next episode. Bless up and peace. Let's go.